So in the next few videos, we're going to talk about measurement systems and conversions. And there are two basic measurement systems that we're going to focus on in these next few videos. Um, the first one we're going to end up talking about is the U.S. customary system. And then we're also going to talk quite a bit about the metric system. Now, if you grew up in the U.S., you've probably u mostly used and are mostly most familiar with the U.S. customary system. And so each one of those, these systems of measurement has different units for, to measure length, to measure volume, and then, of course, weight. So the U.S. customary system, what we're accustomed to, um, measures length with a few different types of units. So the first one I think about is inches. And then we also use feet, right? And we know 12 inches equals one foot, right? Okay. So that's, those are two different um, units of measure that we regularly use in the United States. Um, <clears throat> another unit of measure you might have in the United States is a yard, right? A yard is three feet, if you didn't know. So we also use yards. Uh, another uh, unit that type different way to measure length that we use is miles, right? So if we're going a really big distance, we might use miles. Um, so one mile is 5,280 feet. So those are some different ways that we measure length depending on how, how long the length is. If it's something pretty small, we might use inches. If it's a little medium, like the height of a person, we might use feet it, or maybe even yards. Um, and if it's a really long distance, we might use miles. Um, for volume, some things hopefully you're familiar with, um, we use ounces often. And ounces, eight ounces is equal to, we also use cups, right? If you ever do some cooking or baking, right, it might be in ounces or cups. Um, we also might use pints. Sometimes, If you go to the grocery store and you buy milk, it would be in pints or quarts sometimes. So, um, and we abbreviate pints with PT. So one pint is also the same thing as two cups. Okay. Um, or um, we also use quarts. Um, so... Uh, there are four quarts in one gallon, right? That's, that's probably what you see the most if you go to the grocery store and you buy milk. It usually comes in a gallon or a half gallon. But these are different ways we can measure volume in the U.S. customary system. Um, let's kind of divide them up, organize things a little bit here so it's easier to see. Um, <coughs> the other thing we might want to measure is weight. So... In the U.S., we usually measure weight with ounce it, or ounces. Excuse me. The volume, these were fluid ounces. Different than weight ounces, which is kind of confusing, but it is what it is. Um, so for weight, 16 ounces, or sometimes you see it abbreviated OZ, is equal to one pound, and pounds kind of has a funny abbreviation. I always thought it was funny. LB for pounds. Um, and then the other thing we could, we might use for weight is called a short ton. Um, one short ton is the same as 2,000 pounds. I'm just going to put LBs to abbreviate. So each one of these types of things we would measure, length, volume, and weight, in the U.S. customary system has multiple different ways that you can represent or units you can use 
to um, represent how the quantity that you have there, either weight, volume, or length. So the metric system, it's a little, if you haven't encountered it or used it before, it's a little strange, it's a little different, but it's actually quite a bit simpler um, because in the metric system, you have one basic unit for length, volume, and weight. You don't have all these different ones going on. So if for length in the metric system, we use meters for length, and we abbreviate it with a little m. Um, for volume, we use liters, and we use capital L to abbreviate that. And then <coughs> for weight, we use grams, and we use lowercase g. So the nice thing about the metric system is you just have one basic unit. But you might be saying, what if you're weighing something, if you want to weight, and something is really, really, really big or really, really, really small? How do you represent that? Well, the metric system has um, prefixes for, for um, smaller or bigger units of measure. So something you might have seen before is a centimeter, right? Probably familiar with this. Your every ruler has centimeters on it as well as inches. On one side there's the centimeters, on the other side there's the inches. Well, a centimeter, the prefix is centi. So centi is 100 in Latin or represents 100 in Latin. So this, the prefix centi matches up to 10 to the minus 1, which, if you remember your negative exponents from the last chapter, is 1 one hundredth. So a centimeter is 1 one hundredth of a meter. So one centimeter would be 1 one hundredth of a meter. And so there are a whole bunch of prefixes, and I'm going to put them up on the next slide, uh, that we can use to make either smaller or larger units of measure for each length, our basic unit of um, length, meters, basic unit of volume, which is liters, and basic unit of weight, which is grams. So it's actually, once you learn the prefixes and the basic units of uh, measure, it's actually a much simpler system. So in the next few sections, we're going to talk about how to convert within each one of these systems and also how to convert between the metric system and the U.S. customary system. So keep watching.